two terms associated with this movement are the terms alluviation, spelled E-L, and illuviation, beginning with the letters I-L. Alluviation, E-L, is where we are leaching or moving materials from an upper region of the soil profile down to a greater depth. The illuviation is the zone within that profile where these materials are being redeposited. So if you have alluviation EL at one portion of the profile, you will have illuviation or IL at another region deeper down in the profile. Well, what's the significance of these two processes? Well, the significance is, as we'll see when we go to the soil monoliths today, these processes will cause differences in color at different depths within the soil profile and also differences in structure development. They, as much as any other process we've talked about so far, will be what will begin to show us the differences or the distinctions between the horizons and or the subhorizons in these soil profiles. Structure formation is another soil forming process. As these soils develop, whether both chemically and physically, we will begin to see the formation of stable structural units in the soil. Down below the surface of the soil, these will most likely be blocky, prismatic, columnar, or perhaps even platy, depending upon the type of soil and the rate of formation as these soils develop. And then finally, a sixth but also an important soil forming process is a mechanism which is called soil mixing. Soil mixing can be caused by both physical weathering as well as the action of biological organisms. For example, earthworms living in that soil profile can be moving organic material from surface horizons down to a greater depth. The action of freezing and thawing on a soil will cause expansion and contraction, especially if, soil, if the soil is high in clay content. This can result in a phenomenon known as heaving. Heaving is where soils are actually physically moving in the soil profile, and if we have perennial rooted crops in this soil, we can actually see some detrimental effects as plants may be uprooted and or crowns exposed due to that heaving. <laughs>